Hi, I'm John, and welcome to N-Scale Friday. Today we have some models from Athern to take a look at, so let's head over to the workbench. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. These are N-Scale models from Athern, and these are 57-foot mechanical reefers with sound. They're N scale, as evidenced by the fact that this is N scale Friday. These go for anywhere between $79.99 and $84.99 on Athern's website. So these are MSRPs. If you shop around, you're likely to find a much better price than that. I see a few different models on the website. So your best option would be to go to Athern's website and see if they have the ones you're looking for. Now, since there are two of these, we're gonna go through the one in front here at length, and then we'll kind of skim over the one in the back. And you'll also notice they're a little bit different. Another reason to look at both of them. The model comes packed with these instructions that explain about the sound decoder and how to turn it up or down in terms of volume. And we'll go over that during this program, but I wanted to mention that it does come with the instructions. So you'll want to be familiar with and read through the instructions before you do anything else. I found the paint on this model to be excellent. All of the smallest writing is almost legible with magnification. And the Chilled Express logo here on the side looks especially good. You can see that the molded detail around the door is also very well done. And from this angle, you can see that the ladders on the ends are molded, but it looks like all the stirrups along the model are separately applied wire stirrups. We're breaking with tradition a little bit here and looking at the A end first, because I wanted to point out the refrigeration end. And the reason why is because you can see it's hollow inside here. And there's actually a refrigeration unit inside this hollowed out part, which I'll show you in a second. But while we're looking at this, I do want to mention that this looks to be a photo etched crossover platform. And then you can tell also from this angle that these are in fact body mounted knuckle couplers. And then looking at the end from this side, you can kind of see the refrigerator unit in there. It's kind of hard to see, but it is there. And it's also, it looks to be pretty well detailed, the refrigeration unit itself. So that's pretty cool. And here's the other side of the car. You can see the printing and the logo look just as good on this side as they did on the other side. And now the brake end, which has the same kind of detail that we saw on the A end, except it does not have a refrigeration unit. It still has that photo etched crossover and the uh, brake wheel is a separately applied part on this model. The roof on this car has that pattern that we've seen on the tops of many other models. And I always mention that these kind of patterns take weathering really nicely. And then looking at the bottom of the car, you can see a fair amount of brake detail and then there's also a fuel tank detail here. So from this angle, you can also tell that the couplers are, like I said, body mounted. And then the wheels are metal, which they have to be on this model because it has sound. And we'll be testing that after we take a brief look at the brown model. All right. So here we go with the brown one. You can see the same kind of attention to detail here with the fuel tanks and the brake rigging. And the top of this model has that same type of pattern on the roof. And on the roof of this one, you can see actually over here that there's a smoke jack or an exhaust pipe for the refrigeration unit. This model has very similar detail to what we saw on the other one, including the photo etched crossover and separately applied brake wheel. And the printing on this model is every bit as good as the printing on the other model. All that small writing can almost be made out with magnification. And I'm showing you the A end on this model 
just to point out that it's not open on the side over here like the other model was. So it's just a difference in prototypes. And then also from here, you can see the uh, exhaust up here that I mentioned a minute ago when we were looking at the roof. Other than that, the details pretty much the same. And then finally, here's a look at the other side. It's a really good looking model, but you know, we really want to hear what the sounds are like on these, don't we? So let's go get the test track set up. All right, so I put the car on my test track and I have the test track attached to my computer running JMRI. And when I turn on the power to the track, The sound was taken from an actual mechanical reefer just like this, and it's being reproduced. It's being reproduced by a soundtracks decoder in there that is set to go on and off randomly. So it's pretty cool. It sounds like this one has the volume turned up a little higher than the other one did. One thing I want to mention, and this is pretty important, is that if the car is too loud, there's a little hole right here. And you can see that if you look into it, there's a little Phillips head screw in there. And you can turn that counterclockwise to turn the volume down or clockwise to turn the volume up. These mechanical reefers really have a lot going for them. Not only do they look great on the track due to all the excellent detail Atherin has included, but they also have the sounds. So good job, Atherin. I'm looking forward to seeing you more soon.